So I think we're ready to launch. And if we're not, then it's my own stupid fault for not remembering something. But we've got we've got a parachute, we've got a battery, we've got a solar panel. Okay, so go. Yep, <laughs> let's do it. Let's do it. What's the worst that can happen? The worst that can happen <laughs> is that we die. I embarrassed myself <laughs> in front of everyone. All right, we're going. All right. So, so you far. you sort of see it, it'll rise pretty quickly. Um, and we'll just get up a little way. And you could probably just start tapping the D key just slowly to make it curve over. You don't want to go too fast, just gradual movements. That's about right. So we're 10,000 meters up. You, 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 you see at the top, we've got our altitude. So we're 10,000 meters, 12,000 meters. So if you start leaning over a little more quickly, that's it. As we get out of the atmosphere, it has less effect. So if you, if you go right, you probably nearly point almost towards the, that's it. And then just come back a little. We don't want to go any further than that. With, with... <laughs> Whoa, 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 no, back. Okay, I think oh, I think we're still okay. I think we're still okay. <laughs> I would I would probably I would probably cut your engines at this point. Press X. Uh, how, how do we land this? Well, um, as we get close to the surface, so you see we're now and and actually the um that big crater that we were aiming for is actually passed underneath us now, so it's fine. We're not going to land there anymore. We're going to land somewhere else. Um, so you'll see we're now moving at 800, uh, 484 oh. metres per second. So it's quite a bit quicker than where we were before. And that's because gravity is now pulling us in, right? So it's, yes. we're going to get faster and faster and faster until we hit. So we should have more than enough thrust to wait to, to negate this speed quite quickly. So um, again, you might want to do a quick, um, a quick save. Um, and we'll and we'll hit it, <laughs> and then thrust again. You're just trying to you're trying to touch down at about two meters per second. So just keep on using Z and X. Oh, too much! Now we're going back up. <laughs> That's no tricky. No That's way. tricky. See, we're now moving sideways a bit, so you almost want to use retrograde mode again just to move off some of our velocity. But you're gonna have to do it quick. Z. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> well, we're back off. So it, you know, it, this like it, it is. This is the hardest part of the game. Doing landings is hard. So we're trying to. You're trying to use that retrograde marker to wipe off all of your horizontal velocity at the same time as you're um, reducing your speed to touch down at basically almost one meter per second. So again, you're gonna hit pretty hard. You're not careful and bang. <laughs> So this is the part that needs to practice, right? So that's why we quick saved. So you, you can you can quick load from where we were, and um, and he's you still can alive. Uh, oh, no. He is. He is. He's quite oh, no. safe in his capsule, but he's not going home today. Poor why did Jeb. Why so happy? He, well, he's Jeb. He's happy about all situations, <laughs> unless he's completely dead. He's happy about all situations. To coming down a bit quicker now. Twenty. We're going back to twenty nine meters per second you might want to just do a save right here and you want to reduce your surface speed right down right down right down right down more 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 right. Too oh. hard. <laughs> wait you wanted me to press shift right yeah yeah <laughs> jeez <laughs> way to rub it in her face oh shift shift that's it 300 meters 200 meters That's it. You're doing good. Oh, a bit too much. A bit too much. We're going back up. So cut it? Yeah, cut it. <clears throat> How do we go back? Yeah, so yeah, we're just going to go back to orbit. No, um, you, you're really just trying to keep it to about one meter per second just uh, as you're touching okay. down. So the idea is to touch down. Just you still want to be descending, but you want to be. So as soon as you see those maneuver node markers switch around, so that retrograde and and prograde markers switch around on the nav ball, that's when you're going back up. So um, see, we're slowly descending now. <clears throat> 
So try to keep your um, descent speed at maybe 10 at the moment. So just add a little bit of, that's it. Would that be control? Uh, shift, just a little bit more shift, just to add a bit more thrust to it. You're trying to get it to zero out just as you touch the ground. We're 100 meters up. It's looking good. It's looking good. We're gonna land on a hill, which is great. Okay, a little bit, a little bit less thrust. We're descending at 1.7, 1.8 meters per second, two meters per second. Tiny, tiny bit more thrust. You want to try to touch the ground at almost nothing and cut the engines, cut the engines, <laughs> cut the engines. There we go. Oh god. <laughs> oh god. Look at that. <laughs> Good landing location. Less, less. <laughs> Stop this auto dictation. What are you doing, bro? No. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> That's not a plan for success. Oh, this is not good. Okay. <laughs> that didn't go to plan, that one. <laughs> I don't know why I changed it. <laughs> I am so glad this is a game. You can kind of see the ground coming up, so that gives you a good judgment on how quickly you're coming down. A little bit faster. That's it. That's it. That's it. Oh, bit of a rough one, but that was landing. I reckon we can. I reckon we can count that. Just um, go back up, and we'll we'll head back home. Full okay. thrust. Go. Oh. oh. <laughs> Full thrust, we're going back home. <laughs> we're going back home. So on the nav ball, go straight up, and we're coming back home. And for anybody, I suppose anybody that's watching, that finds this interesting, Kerbal Space Program is one of those things, like I, I wouldn't have a channel without this game, and I, I also wouldn't have an interest in the orbital mechanics without this game. Because when you're playing it, what you tend to find is you know, you've got to learn how to do these intercepts. You've got to learn, oh, okay, I've, I need to burn on this side of the orbit to stretch out the opposite side of the orbit in terms of, you know, so it's, it's very interesting. And then when you watch a real mission, it's like, oh, I know exactly why they're doing that. They've got to do this burn on the opposite side of, um, on the on the moon so that we can, or, you know, as we're passing the moon so that it can stretch out or reduce the opposite side of the orbit. So it's all very interesting. It's all very interesting. And uh, as we get in close here, we should see the re-entry start to happen. So you're pretty much safe to time warp right in. Um, you can pretty much physics warp like we were doing there and that'll just enter a little bit quickly, a little bit more quickly. As it gets to 500 meters or so, it should pop itself out. Oh my God, <laughs> just take your physics warp. <laughs> Jeez, I, I thought it was gonna come out a lot sooner than that. That was like breakneck. <laughs> Are we gonna land on a hill? No, we're, we're pretty good. So here we are, back home, after our moon mission. We landed. Jebediah is alive. Well done, Ellie. We did it. <laughs> yeah. And that's and that's that's kind of the basics. So you know, if you're playing the if you're playing the full career mode, you have to unlock each of these parts to give the ability to do more and more stuff. And you can get more efficient engines and all this sort of stuff. So we we kind of uh, we sort of just went straight through the uh, the ultimate. Um, the ultimate parts list there to to make a vehicle very simply and, and easily but yes if you're doing career the first step is to get into orbit and then return and then the next step is to get into a certain type of orbit and return and it's just incredibly fun learning how to change inclinations and all this sort of stuff so if you need to get into a specific polar orbit you need to launch in a different direction and you need to adjust your inclination at certain points in your orbit to um to exactly match the parameters of this of this mission, so it becomes really quite interesting, and you get to learn a lot about uh, orbital mechanics. We didn't even cover things like when you would use radial burns versus normal burns and anti-normal burns, and all these sorts of things, which is just different ways of saying, look, you're facing direct, different directions on your nav ball. Right. So interesting. If you if you burn sideways, you're kind of you're changing the future 
of your orbit in a certain in a certain way but because you're already moving at such a big velocity you know it doesn't change in the way you think it sort of skews it in a, in a way that isn't immediately intuitive until you know what you're doing uh, and, and you then have to um, set targets and intercepts and it'll tell you the relative inclinations and you've got to try to match them back up all sorts of really cool stuff but that's that's lessons for another day the good thing about um uh, about doing a moon mission is everything's on the flat 90 degree plane so you can launch at 90 degrees you can land at 90 degrees you can then retake off at 90 degrees on the nav ball if you're roughly in an equatorial plane and you can just come straight back you can do all that really without knowing anything about inclination or anything like yeah. this so so if you guys like that story please make sure to like this video subscribe to ellie in space and i'll see you in the next video